Hey guys, just wanted to add this little clip in here to kind of introduce you all or extend the invitation to those of you who are in the Bay Area. So if you're in the Bay Area and would like to be a part of the Bay Area Coffee Discord or the Brian Discord, that's exactly where we are hosting all of these really awesome enthusiast get-togethers, these coffee get-togethers. I wanted to kind of create a place where people could uh, just get together, drink some coffee, hang out, eat some good food, and uh, pretty much the clips that you will see in the following section are just a collection of kind of what's awesome about the Bay Area coffee community, which is people are creating some really amazing machines, products, people are just doing cool stuff, and they're sharing it with the rest of the community. So that's really what I wanted to create with this Discord and the hosting these events is to just allow people to uh, hang out. And if you really want to join this Discord, please send a message to me on Instagram or through email. But uh, otherwise, yeah, we're trying to host some more events and I really want to thank the community for uh, being a part of all of this. But without further ado, you're going to see four really, really cool machines. You're going to see a gear pump Breville dual boiler, a modified rocket apartamento, which is also a gear pump, a uh, GS3 that's been really tricked out, and then a kind of homemade portable espresso machine that models a lot of things off of the decent. So so without further ado, take a look at some really cool stuff from the Bay Area coffee community. Nice. Right, using the Bentwood for extreme robusta. <laughs> extreme. <laughs> yeah, the Robusta's nice and clean, right? That's, that's nice and clean. Yeah, it's fine. Extreme. Yeah. Elevator pitch, the, I got it. Thanks. Gear pump apartamento. Sure. Yeah, so hey, what's up? My name's Tate. Um, so this is an apartamento, which if you know them, it is just a standard uh, old fashioned heat exchanger machine. Um, but what's really unique about this one is instead of just using a digital on off vibe pump where it's you flip the switch, you turn on the switch and water flows out. So I switched out the switch with a linear potentiometer. So as this gets pressed in, this is rolling on a cam, so I'm increasing pressure as I roll this back and forth. And the way that I'm maintaining that is through a gear pump straight out of a mod bar. Uh, which you can see on this side over here. Okay, so that's right there. Yeah, so that's the linear potentiometer that as I press that in, you can hear the pump speeding up and slowing down so that I can vary that with this lever. And that's all running off of this controller that I built, a bunch of SSRs, and I had to build an entire new wiring harness to make it all work. But that's all running off of this gear pump that's straight out of a, uh, a mod bar. So as I increase the, uh, the voltage to it, uh, anywhere from zero to 24 volts, it, it changes the pressure. So, and we've already pulled a few shots on this, and it, in my opinion, kind of solves some of the problems the Apartamento has. Yeah, it makes a machine that I'm actually proud of. Uh, <laughs> so it, it does everything I want it to do. So, um, but I still, unfortunately, still do have to flush it. So um, just like any... HX, any HX machine, you can Rocket see we're definitely HX. going up in temperature. Hey man, the extraction will be higher, <laughs> higher temperature. <laughs> All right, so let's let's try this out. All right, uh, let's, see, let's try that off. <laughs> you pull in the tiny. I mean, let's tiny, let's see how good my tiny. accuracy is. And we're pulling extreme robusta. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's see how it goes. All right, so if you watch this bottom gauge down here, I'm going to pull up a little bit of pressure until we get some back pressure. Oops. And then I can ramp it up. But unfortunately, it's pulling real fast. It's not creating enough back pressure to get up to nine, but let's curl it back down. <laughs> And uh, that's a beautiful shot of Robusta right there. Oh my goodness. That's, uh, that's a lot of crema. Crema bomb. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's, oh, is that the Robusta? That's a lot of crema. And that pulled in, what, 10 seconds? Yeah, we need to grind this spider. <laughs> Use different coffee. That's a home barista. It's a home barista <laughs> forum shot right there. Like a pretty light roasted Robusta, actually. So this probably will taste Fine, maybe bitter. I want to try. What does it taste like? It'll be bitter in the tropical. Tropical bitter. Who wants to try it? You go first. You pull it. So we pulled it at about about like six bars. Yeah. On the. But that's like all it could get out of it because the flow rate was yeah. so fast. 
I don't know. We could grind this coffee <laughs> fine. I don't know about this one. I think I'm only a little bit. Yes, for me. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't taste like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like um, almost like tri chicory root coffee. But that's like what they're built. That's what they Really? Do. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, I know a lot of people that actually really love chicory root. Because like that's why like in a lot of Vietnamese coffee. They do arabica with chicory. Okay. To emulate that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. It's good? Yeah, it's very unexpected, but it's yeah. good. It's novel, for it's sure. Bad, it's a, it's a pretty bitter for me, yeah. I, I, I can't take more than like a sip, though. Yeah, no, I think that's good. Those few drops, is, that's, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not so much bitter as it is nutty. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, All right, I'm gonna hate this coffee. I can't, I'm allergic to tree nuts, so I really <laughs> hate nutty coffees. Um, I was sure Super there were no nuts in that coffee. Yeah. <laughs> is it nut processed? <laughs> it's actually really smooth. Like, yeah. wow, it's pretty good. Very surprising. I, I, I'm not really getting any like bitters, like crazy bitterness. Hmm. Interesting. Like not ultra robusta bitter, I guess. Like I guess like in relative terms to robusta. So this is this is this coffee. It's extreme. Extreme robusta. It is natural. Natural, yeah. That's what you're good. Poison. Extreme. Extremely processed. Extremely processed. All right. So I'm just gonna throw it right on top, right? So just put it on. Yeah. Put it on. Okay. Yeah. Like five, ten times, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Is that like a ball bearing on there? That's a very yeah. Oh wow. Nice. <laughs> oh, then we got it. No, 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 no. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got to impale this one. So this, you point this, the cactus to the left first. Okay. And then put it on the table. Okay. Uh, press it. Just press it down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then flip it 180. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Okay. And then press it down again. That's it. Okay. And then there's this. Then yeah, tamp. Hold. And then now tamp. Yeah. All right. And then we got a huck screen. Huck screen. All right. Okay. All right, now we got a heat exchanger, so we got a purge. Oh, I'd like to know what temperature we're at. 206. That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. This is a light, light coffee, so yeah. we can we can pull something pretty fast. All right, and I would like a slightly bigger cup this time. All right, so let's tear that out. And then I'm going to just kind of give it a little bit of pre-infusion. Let it build up a little pressure. That's better. All right, nice. All right, I'm going to ramp it up a little bit. It's pretty fine, but we'll hang out at nine bar for a second. Yeah, we got it pretty fine. It's all right, we can work with it. And then I'll just taper it off. Let's chill it maybe six bar for a second. And that's adjusting this 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 linear potentiometer. Yeah, yeah. And that's how we're getting the adjustment in pressure. Right. That's super cool. So yeah, we just hang out there, and then you can like lower it now. Yep. Very cool. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> super cool. I keep having Kenyans that are too stringent. I've had too many Kenyans. I keep hearing it's like all about the acidity. Nice. I like my stuff. Uh, let's see. What was it? 19 in? 19 in, 42. 42 ish out? Yeah. Was that, was that pretty good? Where's the thing? Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty thick. It's a high, high, high number, man. Yeah, I mean, you could practically have to chew it as it goes down. 22 for 10. That's good, right? That's up there for sure. We basically can, there's an engagement point here, but we turn it on and then you see like the flow rate is really low and you, can, you can't even hear the gear pump here, but we can like up the flow rate here. You can hear the gear pump go up and then we can lower it. So we get some amount of control over the apartamento, which is a very finicky machine in my opinion.
Um, okay. <laughs> this is like the first shot I pulled in a long while. You only X <laughs> No, I only I only do four now. <laughs> so I should like pre-infuse for a little, right? Is there a pressure? Wait, do we have a pressure gauge? Yeah. Yeah, good. Then we go. So this is like max SLM 24 seconds? Should be good. Oh, it smells nice. It smells nice. It smells nice. It's, it's, the, it's a Gesha. I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna... Give me some of that crap out. All right, All right that's enough. Oh, Two drops. <laughs> Two drops. It smells like an orange. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great. Maybe we should have saved the beakers for pulling it into. Honestly, it tastes incredible. It tastes good? <laughs> Don't be too shocked when our party events are going to make an espresso. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, I'm like, I gotta like pour, pour all the... You're working on your, you're working on your competition. You oh yes. my god. So that's this. Complex improve right there. This is the, this is a really great coffee though. Like on brew it was fantastic, but uh, you know, we got some sus notes there. <laughs> oh, too far turbo. <laughs> okay, so you gotta show this to me. What? This is an auto WDD tool. Okay, auto WDT. So the, there's one gear that goes around. So this makes like a like a spiral drop kind of motion, and then that gear itself is a planetary gear. Okay. And so like the needles go around and like. They, they <laughs> and then in the, the needles there's there's long ones which go all the way to the bottom, and then there's short ones that oh, make the top. Oh, interesting. <laughs> is it? Did you make this? Yeah, this is uh, designed by Waterloss. Okay. Uh, but I printed it. Yeah. So. Do that, and then you just like, oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. And then it's all like fluffy. Nice. <laughs> okay. And then you can just basically tamp it. And now, before you tamp, there's another thing you need to do. Okay. This guy. Oh, we gotta get the cactus? <laughs> the cactus. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to flip. Very pretty. Okay, and we're not done yet, right? You got to, we, you got a tamp. You don't want to pay, you, you're going to puck screen paper filter, what? Okay, paper filter. You just, just, yeah, yeah, there you go. It's a button on the top. There you go. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna we gotta get that that paper filter out. This one's slightly smaller, but it's okay. It should be fine. Yeah. You know, I I heard uh, espresso is a very simple thing. <laughs> Okay, and then now we're gonna pull a shot. So what, what has been done with this? This is a very fancy Preble dual boiler. So this has um, the, the standard white pump in this is replaced by, uh, by gear pump. So this, I mean, yeah, yes. Okay, so let me flip the top up. Okay, so that's the gear pump there. Okay. Um, that's, that replaces the white pump. Um, and that gear pump is connected to this motor controller here. And this motor controller itself is controlled by this ESP32. And so this tells you what the duty cycle of the pump is. So if I, and that, there's a potentiometer here that allows you to change the duty cycle. So right now zero, so that means it's not pumping anything. But you increase this, and you can hear the pump. Mm -hmm. And reduce it. So you can see uh, that that's how you flow control. Right. Uh, and then there's another thing here, which is that there's this that thing there, which is called the popsicle. Okay. It's like a DIY a battery operated pressure transducer mm -hmm. uh, that can connect to the SEP app, and you can. Uh, yeah. So that's how you're getting the the pressure readout. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So that's that's about it. That's the 
That's that's what's in in this deal boiler. Um, All right. And so you can pull a shot. Let's pull a shot now. <laughs> so let me pull on my phone. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't mind>. <laughs> <laughs> We're not showing you the password. Uh, the SEP app. Yeah, good luck. Okay, so we got the SEP so, app, and you just put your phone up there. Yeah, and I'm turning on the pressure transducer, so that's the... Okay, so now everything is connected, hopefully. And then... Let's see. Need to hold on to no, you got to do the double button. Yeah, so press... Triple button? <laughs> yeah, but, Okay, six bar. Going oh, we're gonna do bloom. Two. Yeah, doing a dynamic bloom, and then ramp it back right to six, and slowly decrease. Wow, that that is sick. Wow. Okay, and then you're stopping your shot, and the pressure drops. Ooh, very cool. All right, and we have a shot. So that gives us our full readout of what happened there. <laughs> this is sick. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we can taste. Let's taste. Uh, give it a little spoon. Or? Yeah. Uh, give it a little stir. Okay, we can taste. Alright. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Looks good. I mean, like, it gives you the impression of cucumber because it just like, okay. so this very light. taste. I'll vlog myself. Okay, taste, tasting sounds good. Yeah. Oh wow, that's nice. So this is a pr uh, proud Mary coffee. Right. Proud Mary. And it's pretty good. We dual boiler, dual boiler. I could take camping, and I'm going to point my finger at this dude. Stuff on me. No, no offense. <laughs> yeah. Stupid stuff on YouTube. <laughs> and then this coffee thing comes by, and I go, oh, there's a dude. He's pulling a machine out of a suitcase. Okay, okay, well, let me, let me see what's going on here. So I watch it and watch it. I'm sitting there going, damn, okay. I can get a machine that comes out of a suitcase, and I can take it to friends' houses and things like that. So this guy cost me money. <laughs> <laughs> probably a pretty common experience. <laughs> yeah, probably, he probably cost a lot of people money. And, and so I got one of those, and, and I, I took it to the friend's house, and I go, this isn't working for me because it's big. It's, it's, it's this thing, right? It's yeah. production. Yeah. I'm going, this ain't going to work for camping. So that's what I I needed something this in fact, this was what I call the design spec. It had to fit in here. Oh, nice. This has been with me for years, like I don't know how many years. 30 years plus, it's, huh. it's old. So I said, it has to fit in here. And I thought, how am I going to do that? So over time, it just came out that, that that's what it is. So anyway, and um, you can oh, battery power. Because battery power. Oh, no. Yeah. What kind of batteries? Uh, RC battery. I'll pull that out. Wait, you can choose profiles? You can choose profiles. Whoa. What do you call it? What's the machine called? Yeah. <laughs> it has no name yet. Okay. What, what yeah. sort of pump are you using that, that can run off of RC uh -oh. batteries? It is a... Oh, I'll have to pull the top. It's a um, eBay special. <laughs> okay, I like it. <laughs> is it. Is it a regular 5 pump? or? No, no. In fact, um, it's a uh, it's a gear pump. Oh yeah, yeah, right, 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 yeah. yeah. Very cool. Uh, peak peak gears, which means it can go up to two hundred and something f. Nice. Um, so uh, a lot of the piping or, or waterway here is all silicone and uh, stainless. So yeah. that it's, there's not a lot of stuff to heat. And that was part of also my desire was I, I saw like. Um, and I don't know my coffee stuff very well. Help me out. But it's the one with the big old lever that goes like this. London, and yeah. Uh, no, no, this is the uh, portable one. Um, flare? Flare, flare. flare. Yeah. 58, all that. And I didn't want the heating element there and all of that, so I said, okay, fine. Um, like, you know, there's, there's not much to heat up in terms of the water weight. Yeah. And the water comes out of a little thing. There's an IMS screen right there, and once we get water, hot water, I'll show you, you just 
Um, do you, does it have a heater? It does not have a heater, which means you have to have hot water. water. Okay. So this is for camping, if you remember. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's and, and, and you yeah. can actually put the pot right here. Yeah. Just oh, let's the button. Put the pot right there. <laughs> so hit the button. Oh, that's clever. And, and oh. away it goes. Do you have a pressure transducer on it, and then you just control flow and pressure? Yeah, so here's the pressure uh, right here, pressure oh. sensor. Um, it, it's a little hole that senses the pressure mm -hmm. right on top of the puck. So there it is. Cool. Um, the design is not good. Um, God, let me just say that. It, it needs a lot of improvement. Yeah. And there's the O-ring and the pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. All that. So um, what's one of the shortcomings is it, right now it has this little stainless pipe that goes from the um, gear pump mm -hmm. to this piece. And at 150 PSI, I'm not sure that thread's going to hold. And what happens if that thread breaks off at 150 PSI, something's going to be shooting forward. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of dangerous right now, um, which is why. But is, it, is it really that right. much? I mean, because well, nine if bars, you're, 10 bars. Can I push the button? Yeah, but if you're. Uh, not yet without water. Okay, you don't, yeah, you don't, yeah, you're a quarter of an inch. This joint to one of these with an O ring and maybe some four screws or two screws or something that are beefy. Also, I wouldn't have any problems I'm stuffing two on one of side. Oh, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> so that's one of the things I have to do. Um, other than that, other than that, um, and, and I wish I were a programmer. I'm not a programmer. I know how to, I know how to um, take code from the internet and stuff it together. So this is on the backs of everybody else that have done all this great code. And that was the entire... I bought the IMS screen. So you bought the espresso parts. And it sat on my computer desk and I'm going, okay, I need to wrap stuff around this. So I just started wrapping. A 3D a doctor, print of this thing around it just to see if I can make it stick. The doctor, okay. but he only works and then it's stuck. And he's explained to me, he only works on the next year. Okay. Yeah, there's then a radiologist and like, they just, you, and you're on call and you're in there. Is that full of something for you to print it to? Uh, no, that's actually real aluminum and that's high density. So he sent me credit. So we have a pump at the back and we use like, we're using holy water right now that's been, we preheated the container and we added boiling water inside and we would need a scale. Helpful. We're camping, remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to need a scale? Yeah, we'll use a scale. Okay, I'm going to flush first. Okay. Wow, so we, we see like a... Uh, it's not going to be pressure yet. Yeah, it's at its slowest right now because it doesn't need lots of flushing. Mm -hmm. okay. So we just heat it up to the insides. Locks into the right. That's it. Yeah. So we could just run a profile, right? Right. They just press lever. No, well, we're gonna go with sweet. Go with sweet. Sweet. All right, gentle. gentle. Yeah. And go for it. There's 18 grams in here. Okay, so now the pressure is going up. Oh. Now it's ramping. Now we're hitting six. <laughs> we could have got, I think we should have ground this coffee a little finer. But, but we were able to hit 9.3 bars. This coffee smells dang. <laughs> We're gonna pull. We're gonna pull one more shot with the this machine. Oh wait, wait. We we'll need to we'll need to preheat this, right? Just a tiny bit. Okay. I'm gonna dump this out. Compress all the needles and stick into the middle of that little hole. And just. All right. So now we're preheating. All right. Lock this guy in. All right, let's pull another shot on this guy. Pull a gentle and sweet. So we're in pre-infusion right now, and then it is now ramping pressure.
Our pressure is a little bit high because we're. Uh, <laughs> Actually, wait, our pressure is not that high. Cool, so 30 second long shot, 20, or 24 seconds starting here, and was like at six-ish bars. We have like a pretty nice looking shot here. Cool, all right, anyone wanna try? Same exact coffee, but ground finer, lower pressure, tiny bit. 25 second long extraction versus 10, so we got pressure. Yeah, like this is, this machine works, yeah. That was a, that, our, our puck is stuck to the group head. So that's a pretty dry puck then. Like even, you know, even extraction, right? <laughs> Relatively even extraction. <laughs> Got stuck to the top. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, like the portafilter is pretty clean. Wow, this machine's super cool. First of all, I think the DF with the Okay. Uh oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Oh, we're gonna crack some uh, guts here. What type of battery? Is that a. Three cell. Okay, three cell lipo? Yep. Okay. And then is that a. Oh, XT60, okay. All right, I do have actually a charger for this. Oh, wow. Okay, but it works. That's what matters. The pump doesn't like to be run dry. Okay. But I do kind of just dry it out to that extent, and that's it. That's it. Okay. She's wiped, she's clean. And that's that, really. Cool. It's not right. sexy. Just, that's no, but it works. That's fine. I'm assuming that there's no sort of valve or anything going from the pump to the groove. It's just a straight line. It's just a straight line. Sick. So, is this like for, for flow restriction? Or? No, it's for heat. Oh, okay. So that's kind of the idea of insulating everything inside there with uh, silicone all the way up to that point. And then it just pops out on here. Uh, so you're saying the whole water path is inside with silicon? Pretty much. Nice. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Hey, what's up? I'm still Tate. Um, and this is my other monstrosity. Uh, so this is my GS3 that's definitely not a GS3 anymore. Uh, all the electronics uh, from the software side have been replaced. So if you spin around back here, uh, this whole board is basically running a whole internet connected set up and uh, you know we're actively heating right now and we have this little Wi-Fi chip on here. Actively I have the brew boiler on, I've set it at 208, it's actually still warming up a little bit. Um, and I have all these sort of profiling settings here. So right now I have a three second pre-wet and a three second bloom. So if I start a shot, you'll see three seconds of that. And then the valve stays open, but the pump turns off, so we get kind of this residual pressure, and then we go back into the regular infusion. So we get a bloom. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Typically, I like to bring that all the way up to like 25, so I can do like a blooming espresso mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, so it would look more like. And then it'll shut that. off, and yeah. then the pressure just drops. Right. Yeah. And I just find it a very forgiving profile that really, I don't really get any channeling or anything like that. And, uh, it's been really tasty stuff. Yeah, and this is a GS3 AV? Right. Okay. Yes. And you've brought an MP profile, well, like programming. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> profiling. And then it, and the next part of the profile ramp? Yeah, there, yeah, we there go. it goes. So 25 after, seconds after later. Blue. Yeah. And yeah, it's a super solid, you know, stable machine. So it's, it's great for trying new coffees and I can have the same shot over and over And then again. we're also getting a readout of the... Uh, the flow rate. The flow rate? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's not making any sense right now, but uh, yeah, we have that too. And then I can individually turn on the boilers. So like if I want to just turn on the steam boiler for some reason, I can do that. Uh, like that. And now we can steam. Right. Uh, but yeah, we're just doing brew right now. And then I have a schedule too, so often I'll like set this to turn on at 6 a.m. 
and then you know I'll have a warmed up machine every morning. Mm -hmm. All of the actual hardware in this thing is exactly stock. So it's still using a rotary pump set at nine bar. Uh, but what's really interesting about a GS3 I've noticed is um, it actually has like some decent ambient like line pressure almost is what you would call it. So if I turn off my pre-wet all the way, um, so that means, uh, oh yeah, and turn up the bloom. So that means it's just gonna open the valve and just use whatever pressure is in the boiler mm -hmm. to kind of create some pre-infusion. And it actually does like a nice little pre-wet. Oh yeah, super gentle. Yeah, almost like a Slayer style shot. Yeah, you know, pressure is just basically. Yeah, I mean, zero. if I had a puck there, you yeah, know, it'd you build up a little it, bit of pressure. But um, I can actually like kind of build that back up a little bit. So I can bring that back up. And then if I were to do that while I'm sitting at nine bar. You, you can adjust all this in real time. Too. Right, yeah, 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 it's pretty slick, yeah. And this is literally all just Arduino's app. They make a really great IoT interface that for someone like me who has no idea how to do any of this front end stuff, I'm all about C++, uh, this is great. So it's really, really handy and it's pretty responsive. We're gonna try to mimic the, the turbo bloom profile. This is like a really wacky profile I've pulled. Oh, and huh. look at our, our temperature's really low, by the way, like 80. Yeah, we're gonna turbo bloom. Okay, let me turn that down. Yeah, like turn it, turn it down, down. Basically, like you fill at the max rate yeah. until your puck until you hit like four bars, okay, and then you then just don't do anything. You bloom for like one second, okay, and then you ramp pressure or you ramp flow up to like five mils or something. What's but tricky you can is like really low. with that second part, I can only do nine, oh, nine bar. That's fine. Okay. We'll yeah. So I'll do a six second pre wet, and also you got to remember flow rate on these rotary pumps is super high. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna reach six bar in like maybe a couple seconds, like okay, maybe good. one or two seconds. Yeah, we okay. want that. Uh, okay, yeah, so a six second pre-wet and then a one second bloom. Okay. And then we'll go, and we'll go jump right back in a nine bar. Yeah. Okay, cool. Say Donche, by the way, so this is a really clean washed coffee. Oh God, I missed a few grams. Full time. Oh, where's the rocket? Yeah, there it is. All right, we lost a few grams. <laughs> I missed, I missed. We'll just uh, scrape this into our part of filter. <laughs> when you do not have uh, the, the Nautilus uh, Port filter adapter. I'm very excited to taste what the table tastes like. <laughs> this will taste good. This will taste good. We're basically gonna pull something super, super fast. Um, nice. I know how to prep pucks. Oh, you have? Do you have a timer on this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then it's this button. The to, very left. Yeah. The very left. That just, okay. Just starts it. So you're gonna have a six second. Okay, cool. And then it and then it should just Yeah, so we it turbo second. bloomed. Yeah, so bloomed for like one second, then it just ramps all the way up. So we're at nine bar pressure here. Or nine bar pump pressure, right? right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pull it to, to like sixty. Oh, okay, sixty five, that's fine. Twenty yeah, twenty five seconds. Do we have like a graph of our pressure here? Uh, no. Oh, okay. There's no pressure stat. Or I mean flow. Uh, my flow meter is not working properly right now. Oh, okay. What flow meter do you have? Just the stock GS3 flow meter. Just the one that's used for metrics. Yeah, we well, still get chroma, but this is the this is the say Dante, and it did basically a turbo boom profile. Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm I'm not using flow. E this is an Ethiopian Dante. I mean, I. Turbo bloom SSP brew. There's probably like a really short finish. <laughs> Where's the finish? <laughs> yeah, there's probably like a really short finish on this coffee. Let me get my cup. I actually really like the brews for, um... yeah, there's like for <laughs> Yeah, so that's. Where do you go? It's actually really good for I like it more than for filter. Filter, you don't get anything. Yeah, so like that's what the um, SSV brews do. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. 
And this is like low pressure turbo I'm digging boost. this uh, short finish, actually. Yeah, it's just like short finish. Super clean. Super, super clean. Yeah. It's nice because the acidity is, is sharp, yeah. not it's in your face. Yeah, yeah, like very sharp, yeah. pleasant yeah, acidity. Really yeah. But Turbo Bloom, yeah. this profile is fantastic. Uh, yeah. I love this profile. Yeah, and we get, yeah, like you get some of the mouthfeel here, but it's like very clean, very like. Aroma sticks more. Aroma is like. Yeah, like it's in my, yeah. Yeah. This profile is good. Hey, this machine does a good job. <laughs> good job, Kate. No. Is this a pretty straightforward mod? <laughs> I mean, the, the, the wiring harness is original. It's just adapted into it with a couple adapters. Um, so I was able to keep the harness, but I did have to add an extra SSR for, um, I don't remember. Oh, oh, this, this board is where the old SSR was, so I moved the, the steam SSRs over here. And you can see the brew SSR is, is the one that's flashing right now. Um, yeah, sorry, it's a little hidden in there. Um, but, and it is definitely a mess of wires. But, yeah. Um, I mean, but the one thing that you might notice about this machine, though, is like the LCD doesn't work anymore. And mm. like, I'm kind of the type of person that thinks like, really, the interaction that you have with a machine should just be like with whatever controller you have, which is in this case my phone, mm -hmm. and then just buttons. So I'm not really bummed that the LCD is off. Um, because I, I have all the information I need in one place. Right, so. it's on your phone now. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't know, it's pretty, it's pretty simple and straightforward. I just, uh, I wish that Lamarzoko did, did more stuff like this where he had independent control of the valve and the pump. I've heard of some guys like adding, adding separate toggle switches, which is a cool idea. Uh, but I mean, you can have a lot of interesting profiles. Like you can do Blooming Espresso mm -hmm. on a GS3 AV, which no one really does. Yeah, I mean, we just did a turbo bloom, and it went, it it happened. It bloomed for one second and then ramped up exactly right. like, yeah, exactly like the decent one. So this except is good. you don't have to have a special motor controller to like, you know, make that profile. You mm -hmm. just use a, a regular, you know, nine bar rotary pump and a regular solenoid valve. So yeah, and those types of parts are in. Uh, very simple machines that you could make those types of profiles with. You don't need this really complicated controller to do something like that. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, super cool. Thanks yeah. for showing up. Yeah. <laughs>